What's up guys, today we got a little bit of a different video. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how I hang up all my boards. I have a huge board wall, I've been skating, collecting boards for 15 years. Um, I just love, I think it's like the best form of like art, this is the skateboard, it's multi-purpose, plus you have art attached to it, and there's some are more collectible than others, it's kind of rushed to get them all, and all the different like subjects, and just, I just think they're amazing, like if you just look like Chapman, you got Pettibone, Sean Cliver, and there's the Supreme logos, like everything's different, they catch people's eye, it's interesting, it kind of pops out of the wall, I think it's just better than the painting, so, and plus I skateboard, so that's my whole background, that's, been doing that for 15 years, um, so, Long story short, I just thought I'd make a video, show you guys how to hang up your boards. It gets asked a lot. Real simple. I'll go into all the tools you need and like the demonstration of it. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right guys, this is all the stuff you're gonna need to make holes through the board and hang it on your wall. Of course, the deck. I keep it in plastic. This is just, I just feel like it protects it better. Thumbtacks to put on the wall to hang the board from. Um, I, th I feel like a lot of people would say this is just too weak. It's not a long enough nail, but I've used these for like two or three years. They've always stayed up. Um, nails are stronger, but they leave a bigger hole in the wall and I think it's unnecessary. Never had a bowl, uh, board fall off the wall using those. Um, tape measure just to measure the string. I use just like a twine I've had just laying around just stuck with it um, You might be able to use fishing line or anything like that anything type of string you can tie and this is just easy to cut Always measured out to like 11 inches. I just feel like the slack it fits the best on the board But you might have to mess around with that depending on like how many boards you got on the wall how it has to fit and I just use like an allen wrench anything straight like that to poke holes to the top to uh, pre-drilled holes in the skateboard the plastic scissors or knife or anything just to cut the string after you measure it. All right, the first step, it's pretty simple. You just take the board, um, top two holes, I'm gonna hang it vertical. I take the Allen wrench, this poke hole straight through the plastic, goes out the other side, go to the other hole, right through the plastic, very simple. Um, I learned this method just through the, the skate shop I used to go to. This is how they used to hang all their boards in the wall, and then eventually they got so many, they just threw them on the ground. Well, that's where I got it from, because he'd always like hang up his like autograph board and stuff like that, like this, right through. So you have two holes in top two boards, it's a sealed plastic board, and then we'll like loop the string through the holes and hang it on the wall. Now we got the holes uh, poked through the plastic, top two holes, this is the vertical board, if it's horizontal, I do the holes right here hang the loop on this one, and hang a loop on these back ones, but since this is a vertical board, it's hanging on the top two wall, top two holes. We already got string through one hole. It's nice to cut the string to about 11 inches. It just works best for my walls, not how many decks I have to like fit them all in. You can mess around with the measurements and see how you want it. Hardest part is just getting the, the string through the, the hole without it fraying, so either you'll either lick it, get it like all sharp, or I just put like tape around it sometimes just to make it easier. Put tape on the end and just push it through the hole comes out the other end, just pull it through, real easy, and we kind of just even it out so it's same on both sides, then we just tie a knot in it. Now I tie it at the, the top so there's a lot of slack because you're going to hang these on like a thumbtack or a nail, so you try to leave as much slack as possible because if it's too short then the board will barely be able to hang onto that nail and it might fall off, you won't be able to literally loop it onto the nail if it's not long enough. Um, and I kind of pull it so I can get as much slack as possible, but it's tight. And then it should be look like around like that. Should have really had that much string hanging off the front. Can't really notice it either with the string. It's not like a super bright color or anything. Kind of blends into the board, but it should look about like I don't know. We'll say about four or five inches of slack right there, and it will hang on the nail on the thumbtack. All right, now that you got your thumbtack in the wall, you did your uh, fake measurements with your board, the layout, or you actually used a ruler and actually had patience. Unlike me, you can see all the holes I made trying to line all these boards up. Or sometimes you got to move them when you add more boards. I just take the slack in the back, like I said, four or five inches of slack, and just kind of let it drop onto the thumbtack. I kind of just lift it up with my hand and just kind of like lay the board against the wall and kind of feel around just kind of let it drop onto the thumbtack this is kind of a tricky part and see it just kind of falls onto the thumbtack now this board is a bigger board than the normal board I have here the Chapman board but everything lines up and that's pretty much how you do it it's pretty simple but a lot of people didn't really like, really realize it I guess yeah. All right guys, and that's my video. Real simple video, quick video, but it's a really, you guys ask it a lot, so I thought I'd throw up a video, make it more interesting, easier to follow, so I can just kind of post a link when everyone always asks me. Real simple, it's how I've been hanging on my boards. 
I learned it from my local skate shop, how they would like hang their boards they sell or autograph boards you would get on the walls, West Side Skate Shop. Take the board, pop two holes, just a summary. String, about 10, 11 inches so you have enough slack, four or five inches of slack. Tie it at the end, get as much slack as you can. Put the thumbtack in, I use these thumbtacks just because it's a small needle, small little nail, plus they have a lot of, you can like hang on them really easily, the plastic part. Um, lay it all out better than I do. I put a bunch of holes instead of just measuring it or kind of like fake kind of like putting it on the wall. Just measure it out better than me if you don't want to a bunch of holes in your wall, but they are tiny. And then we just kind of, with the slack, just hang it on the, over the nail, let it drop. Of course this one's not lined up that good because it's not the Chapman board, it's the Earth Fisher board. Just using that spot as an example. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, just doing more diverse videos, more like Q&A type, uh, my favorite collection type videos, maybe a tour of my closet, better kind of videos. Um, from this past drop, Black Sabbath. If you've been following me for a while, you know I, I love Black Sabbath. Probably my favorite band of all time. So this collaboration is like top, I mean like top one. It's like probably the best collaboration for me personally. I like Comme des Garçons stuff a lot, but I have more connection with Black Sabbath. When I was 13, 14, 15, probably I was really, really into like 70s rock and stuff like that. I was playing guitar. I have a Gibson Firebird I got from Memphis. Um, I got from Tony Iommi. Uh, he plays the Gibson SG, a way more expensive model than I had. But I had a little like, SG one, like a little $700 one from Sam Ash. And just, I just I just love their music. I'm not a big metal fan, but Black Sabbath, I don't feel like it's technically metal. It's, it it kind of created metal. People like evolved from it. But a lot of the stuff is jazzy on there. A lot of the riffs and stuff they do. But it is a harder kind of like, you know, just rock. You can just like, I just jam out to. It just pumps you up. I love Black Sabbath. Um, the Aussie years, of course. And um, like I just heard, like this like the last tour they're ever gonna do, the last album they're gonna put out is 13, which I started to like a little bit more. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit too renewer, like the older Sabbath stuff, Volume 4, and if I want something a little lighter, Sabotage, even Technical ec Ecstasy I liked. So yeah, I'm really happy on that drop. I got three shirts, um, nothing sold out, so I was like really happy to see that. Um, really happy to get those shirts. Um, I'll do a video on that when I get them soon. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Hope it was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you don't put up your decks or anything like that, or if you go skate them, you don't hang them up. I skate them and I hang them up because I just think decks are like the coolest piece of artwork, coolest collectible things you can have on your wall. Um, Multi-purpose kind of thing. And uh, yeah, like I said, the guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for more videos.